Now I have certainly made my opinions clear, I feel, when it comes to the whole drama over the course of the past year involving the Elite and CM Punk and Tony Khan and talked about how the whole situation made everybody involved look stupid. There were no winners. I don't care where your biases lean, whether it's pro-con all the way, or you ride with the elite, or you're on the punk team. It doesn't matter. Like, look past your bias, if possible, which seems to be a big ass for wrestling fans. But if you look at this thing objectively, everybody looks fucking stupid. Punk looks stupid for going into a business and for himself and that media scrum. Like, he put the company, Tony Khan, in a bad spot. Just poor form, bad fucking look. Stop being a bitch, basically. When it comes to the elite, <clears throat> same thing for them. You gonna go confront CM Puck in the locker room? Like, grow a fucking set. You're supposed to be executive vice presidents of a big company. Act like it. I can almost no more companies if you have executive vice presidents that go try to attack employees the EVPs would be fired and the company would be sued. Tell me where I'm telling lies. Like, they, they fucking look stupid. And if they're not wanting to do business with CM Punk at some point, they look even more idiotic. And Tony Khan looks the most idiotic of all because at the end of the day, he's the head motherfucker in charge. This is all happening on his watch. This is because... He wants to be buddy-buddy with guys. He wants people to get along. He wants to have this great friendly environment, which on the surface doesn't sound like a bad thing, but there comes a point in time where you have to be the damn boss and that shit can't be questioned. Nobody is irreplaceable in that damn company. And at times you have to remind everybody of that fact. And sometimes you might think people like you, but they actually grow to loathe you because you don't exert some for, thor, form of influence, leadership, authority, command. People need that at times. So this whole situation the past year-ish, everybody has looked like a fucking idiot. They've looked terrible. The guys like Meltzer's, the Alvarez's of the world, they look like crap too in this because you've clearly seen where their bias is. And as long as you understand where the bias is, you can take the things that they say with a grain of salt, but... You know, they've been a fucking clown show too. Let's be really clear, especially Dave Meltzer. However, there is something to be said, and I saw somebody put this out there recently that I know, and I thought this made perfect sense. If everyone that you encounter is an asshole, then maybe you are actually the asshole. And when it comes to CM Punk, I'm sorry. Why is it so hard for him to not come across like such a petulant, whiny bitch boy? Yes, yeah, coming from the guy talking about this on YouTube, granted. But there's a big difference between him and I. This is a guy that's a big star. This is a guy that was able to pursue his dream, realize his dream, on the highest of levels, has made millions of dollars of wrestling, and I would assume is continuing to make seven figures a year. He got to marry his dream girl, AJ. Like, dude, why the fuck are you so unhappy? You got your great job, where boss basically lets you do whatever the fuck you want. You got your wife, that you've been married to for a number of years now. You got Larry. Like, life is good. It just proves that old axiom of some people aren't happy unless they are unhappy. Some people thrive on negativity. And CM Punk, Phil Brooks, whatever you want to help, hell you want to call him, like at some point in time, you got to look at him and say, that's just an angry, negative, miserable motherfucker. As you look at the most recent shit after the show on Collision Saturday night, going into apparently business to, for himself again, 
talking about punk here, mind you, cutting some shit on Hangman Page. And now, granted, was it the worst thing you've ever heard? Fucking no. Was it kind of stupid because a lot of it was talking about Hangman Page not being able to move merch like toys? Yeah, I mean, it kind of was. Like, that's how lame wrestling in general is, is this is the type of shit that will really pique interest, right? Now everybody's talking about punk. And that's part of the name of the game here. But goddamn, does this dude ever just say to himself, like, I'm the asshole and I'm the problem? Like, apparently he confronted Ryan Nemeth about some shit Nemeth tweeted earlier in the year. Like, is it really that important that you have to respond to everything like you're a 15-year-old, spoiled, entitled, teenage white girl? What the fuck is wrong with this dude? No, I mean, seriously, like, Tony Khan, I still blame him because at the end of the day, he's the head dude. And he enables this shit. He allows this shit to happen. And when you talk about, well, CM Punk creates a negative vibe in the locker room. He creates a negative work environment. No, the fuck he doesn't. Tony Khan enables it. Tony Khan allows it to happen. If anything, Tony Khan waters it and feeds it and allows it to blossom. Whenever there's a negative work environment, it is really easy to blame the workers, the grunts, the underlings. It is always, even with the most negative people, it is always the fault of leadership at the end of the day if they allow that shit to foster or be nurtured. And if you say, well, what are you going to do? Hey, if they continue to create the negative environment talking about the people, then you fucking fire them and you replace them. You hate it so fucking much, we'll facilitate your request. We'll get you the fuck out of here. How about that? I mean, it's literally that type of thing with Tony Khan. is like, hey, I like having you here. You, you do good things for us. We do good things for you. We'd like that to continue. But this shit's got to stop. Whatever fucking problems you've got, you need to figure it out as a grown-ass man in your fucking 40s. To stop being such a negative dick all the fucking time. Like I always cringe whenever I see CM Punk personally portrayed as a this like heroic baby face. It's somebody to really get behind. Because it just screams out fake phony baloney wrestling bullshit. It's not believable. Whiny, petulant, negative, narcissistic CM Punk absolutely fucking is because the more that time goes by, the more evidence you get that that's exactly who the fuck this guy is. And that's my thing. I just don't get it. Like, dude, you're about to go main event, or not main event, but you're about to go wrestle in Wembley, in London, at All In, looks like wrestling Samoa Joe, in front of 80,000 plus people. Why wouldn't you just be focused on that and focused on doing the best you can to put on the best performance you possibly can to entice people to want to come to AEW shows like that in the future? You just worked a decent little mini program with Ricky Starks. It helped Ricky Starks' profile. Why don't you focus on that? Why don't you focus on this positive stuff? Like it's one of these things where you can say, CM Punk's not worried about the elite. He's not bothered by the elite. But at some point in time, if he's the one that continues to take shots at them, then it's no longer that they just have a problem with him and they are the problem. It is that they are in his fucking head, no matter how much he wants to admit it. I mean, real talk. Like Punk is still an attraction for AEW. He's one of their top draws, no doubt about it. But you see all the signs of just somebody that just can't fucking help being a negative ass person and bringing everybody down to him outside of maybe like FTR and a couple of others, right? But it's not that hard. It really isn't. It's not that hard to not say shit like that. It's not that hard to not be a fucking whiny, petulant, bratty bitch. Tell me where I'm telling lies. Like CM Punk, if, you know, you start to see fans talk about, I'm just tired of hearing about him. I'm just tired of dealing with him. I kind of get it, right? 
I've never been the huge, biggest CM Punk fan, but certainly understood his place in wrestling and his importance in modern wrestling. But goddamn. Like, he's not drawing Hogan, Austin, Rock, Andre money to where Flair money, where it, you know, Dusty money, where it necessitates putting up with this bullshit. Like, can he just stop being a crybaby for a change? Can he stop being such a miserable ass dude? Let it go. Please, punk. Let it go.